This add-on for Blender allows you to simply draw a trajectory, press animate, and you have an animation with the correct speed. It follows the rules of 2D time charts. You simply draw little strokes to set the spacing between the keyframes and press animate. You can edit the position of these keyframes and you have many other options. The add-on is available on my Gunroad page. Thanks for your feedbacks. Welcome to this tutorial for the simple animation graph add-on for Blender. To install it, once you have downloaded the zip file, go into Blender's Edit Preferences, and then Add-ons, and in this drop-down menu, install the zip file that you downloaded. The add-on will be available in the top right menu of the viewport with the shortcut N, and it's in the Animation panel. Now to use the add-on, be sure that you have the overlays activated and the 3D cursor is visible in the list. Now select the object you want to animate in object mode or the bone in pose mode if you want to animate an armature and set the cursor to selected with shift S or with the shortcut in the add-on. Select the annotation tool. Up there you can change the color and the width of the lines and to draw in 3D space set the placement to 3D cursor. Now you can draw the trajectory from the start to the end of the movement. Quick tip, you can use Ctrl Draw to erase or you can use the button Remove Annotation Frame in the add-on. On the trajectory, place little strokes to set the keyframes of the animation. Quick animation tip, small intervals will make slow animations and big intervals will make fast animations. If you want to make a smooth acceleration, make the next interval always bigger than the previous one. And for deceleration, just do the opposite. Now you can generate the animation by pressing Animate Position in the add-on panel and press Play to see the result. You can also use the shortcut displayed on the button and you can change that shortcut in the preferences of Blender. If you want to start a new trajectory after a previous one, just go to the frame where you want it to start and be sure that the 3D cursor is at the bone or the object you want to animate and then trace the new trajectory. It will automatically hide the previous trajectory and start a new one from this frame. Now press animate position or rotation again and the two animations just follow each other. If you want to draw a trajectory that starts at the same time as another existing trajectory, you have to erase the previous one because otherwise the add-on will be confused between the two trajectories. Now to animate a rotation, same thing, select the object in object mode or the bone in pose mode, place the 3D cursor to the selection and pick the annotation tool and start drawing the trajectory. Again, small intervals will make slow movement and bigger intervals will make faster movement. Now you can generate the animation by pressing Animate Rotation in the add-on panel or with the shortcut and just press play to see the result. Quick overview of the settings. You can animate by step or by duration. By steps means that the number you put here will be the distance between every keyframe generated. And if you generate by total duration, it will put all the keyframes equally in the total duration you put here. Of course, if you put too many keyframes, it will overlap a little. You can set the animation interpolation to constant, Bezier or linear. So these are the classic interpolation tips you have in Blender. Constant will make a stop motion animation style. Animating on a surface is really simple. Again, just use the Animation tool. Um, for this case, I'm going to change the line color to black. And here, you have to set the placement to surface. I'm going to hide the object temporarily so I can draw on the floor beneath it. And here we go. I trace the line on the floor. I can make intersections like this. And again, keyframes, large distances makes faster speed, small distances, slower speed. Now I generate the animation with Animate Position or the shortcut Shift-Alt-A and here it is. To edit the trajectory, you have to press Edit Trajectory as Curve before you animate and then it switches automatically to Edit Mode with lines on a curve and you can just 
moved these points in space, then you can just press animate position or rotation and play the result. You can lock the animation on the axis that you want. For example, you can deactivate the Y axis and you have the preview axis button that shows a gizmo with the direction of the axis that you activated. Let me set the cursor to select it and draw a trajectory. I will activate relative trajectory so you can see here the result. So let me press animate position and show you the result. As you can see with relative trajectory, you don't have to draw exactly at the position of your object. It will follow the trajectory starting from where it was in the beginning. Another feature that we added is the option to make the object look in the direction where it goes. So you just need to check orient to path in the advanced settings and press animate positions and it will create keyframes both for position and rotation for the object. So thanks for watching and thanks for your support on this add-on.